It's 6 a.m. Summer vacation is officially over for the members of the 2014 UCLA women's gymnastics team. The girls reflect upon the ups and downs of last year's injury-filled season, en route to the team's five-day training camp in the outskirts of Los Angeles. For a team expected to win, last season's fourth place finish still lingers in their minds. The summer was a time for healing, both physically and mentally. For many of these former Olympians, world champions, and elite gymnasts, the journey back to the top of their game is a familiar road. It demands backbreaking hard work and unwavering mental toughness. But for these highly trained, highly motivated student athletes, that's exactly the way they like it. One of the reasons why I love my job so much is because of the type of people that I get to recruit and work with every day. Not just uber smart, cream of the crop, successful people. You're dealing with people that love life and love a challenge. Otherwise, they wouldn't be interested in UCLA. <laughs> Over the course of her career, veteran coach Valerie Condos Field has guided six UCLA gymnastics teams to national championship titles. After this last year's challenging season, Miss Val and her coaching staff know there's a lot of hard work ahead. Getting these individual athletes, freshmen and seniors alike, to gel as a team is always the first order of business. It's always important preseason to take the student athletes away from campus because it's they need to feel this. And you can't feel this when you go back to your separate dorm rooms and then when you choose to hang out with your f other friends and or your, you go home to your family, the ones that live close. So that ex exclusivity is extremely important for the start of the bond. fun in the sun is just what the doctor ordered. But at this high level of competition, the process of building a strong team bond is not all fun and games. In fact, camp is about to get a whole lot more intense as the girls get back on the bus and head north towards Tehachapi, where they will be spending the next four days in the Woodward West Gymnastics Training Facility. It's here that the girls get to test the durability of their healed bodies for the first time under the watchful eye of the coaches. The 2008 Olympic silver medalist Sam Peshek is a junior this year, and she knows all too well about the pain and disappointment that comes from a season-ending injury. Last year was really frustrating because I tore my Achilles a few weeks before our first competition. You know, you spend all fall, all summer getting back in shape, getting your routines ready, putting all the work. So to get almost there and then not be able to compete with the team was really heartbreaking for me. She rehabbed fiercely and 
probably was about two months ahead of schedule coming back. Whenever you have an injury, it's tough on, of course, the, the area that you hurt, but also the rest of your body. Not doing this type of activity for, you know, seven plus months and then all of a sudden, you know, jumping right back into it, it's a lot of twerk on your body. So, um, you know, I'm trying to spend a lot of time with rehab, not just on my Achilles, but other areas of my body that aren't used to all the tug and pull of, of gymnastics and all the hard skills that we do. Sam Pesic is one of the fiercest competitors in anything. Cards, jacks, hopscotch. Sam is going to win. You know, I'm not as in shape as I would like to be, but I think it's good to have goals and something to work towards. You know, that's how I made it to the Olympics. That was always in the back of my mind. So um, every day having a plan and something to achieve really helps me. For British Olympian Jenny Pinches, taking a year off from gymnastics before coming to UCLA makes her return to peak form one of the toughest challenges of her career. I'm just starting to get all my skills back now, which to be honest is quite tough and frustrating for me because I know what I can do and the fact that I'm not fit enough to do all the skills I could do at the Olympic Games yet is quite hard. As a gymnast, you cannot take time off and expect to be able to perform the skills that you're asking your body to perform. You have to maintain that muscle memory. You know, your mind thinks that you can do the skills how you did the last time you did them and your body's going, whoa, it's a slower twitch. But I'm just trying to work hard for the team and hopefully I can get enough skills back. So you think that you got what it takes. Preseason is a time to measure strengths and weaknesses. What it takes to wrestle with when it comes to conditioning, the only way to find out where you stand is the hard way. Tough. I mean, even for the girls who have been training all summer, it was tough. I did feel a bit emotional, but I just tried to work through it and work really hard. Um, we all made it to the end, so that made me feel accomplished and proud that I got through it at the end of a long day. She thought she was never going to do gymnastics again, and now she gets to do it again. And she's making huge, grand steps to keep that engine running. Physical fitness is a critical component to winning, but that alone doesn't guarantee success. Recruiting 2012 Olympic gold medal winner Jordan Weber as a team manager is a strategic move aimed directly at inspiring the championship mindset. Every single aspect of Jordan's character is exactly what the Bruin tradition of excellence has been based on. And I just knew if we could get her to UCLA, she would be invaluable. I feel like there's a lot of things that I can bring to the table to help this team, and that's why I came for it. Whether it's, you know, pulling a mat or helping someone if they need a little pump-up speech or something like that. Being on the Olympic stage is definitely a lot of pressure, and it was a lot to deal with mentally, so if I can help them in that aspect of anything, then I would love to. Her integrity is infallible and unwavering. And to have that presence around our girls is uh, priceless.
With a focus on shoring up team building and mental toughness, the girls are put through a military-style competitive challenge. Little walk, little walk. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. It's a grueling annual event designed to take the girls out of their comfort zones and put their strength of character to the test. We want to break them of these pretty girls in little boxes mentality. Get them outside, dusty, dirty, sweaty, grimy, bloody. You're going to go right over left. Stand. Yes, sir. This year we utilized Major Bill Rich and his cadets. They had to work in their little pods of four as a team to get to fulfill this challenge. And we do this every year to just push them in uncomfortable situations where they can take charge and say, no, 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 we're going to complete this and we're going to, to conquer it. We want to develop that kick butt mentality. We don't want them to be nice. We want them to have a swagger. You need to walk into the arena and know that you're going to win. What I want to feel is when they enter a room, there's a hush. Like it goes into slow motion. And that's what we've had with a lot of our championship teams. They're doing the right things and they're moving in the right direction, trying to take it to the next level. And uh, they're committed to one another, and that's very clear. I think they're destined for a great season.